friends, look at our planets. Where did our planets go? I think they are hiding in the bubbles. Let's find them. Ooh, this one feels very big. This must be the sun. But it has no color. Let's give the sun its color back. Sun is bright and shiny. Let's give sun its color back. I'm going to use yellow and orange. The sun is a yellow dwarf star that sits in the center of the solar system. It is so huge. Its gravitational pull holds the entire solar system together. And its energy makes life possible on Earth. Wow! The sun is back! find our first planet. This planet is very small and is very close to the sun. It's Mercury. Time to color our Mercury. Time to color Mercury. Mercury looks a lot like our moon with grayish brown color and numerous impact craters created from meteorites and comets colliding with the surface. Let's color it gray in color. Mercury is closest to the sun and the smallest planet in the solar system. It has no atmosphere. So sun's radiation can bring the planet's surface temperature up to as high as 430 degrees Celsius. Ooh, that is very hot. Very, very hot. Let's find our second planet. This planet feels very hot. It is Venus. Let's give Venus its color back. Let's give Venus its color. Venus is bright and shiny. I'm going to use orange and golden color. Venus has dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide that traps heat on the planet's surface, making it the hottest planet in the solar system. Our hot Venus is ready. Let's find our next planet. This planet feels special. This is the planet where we live. It must be Earth. But Earth lost its colors. Let's color it back. Let's color Earth. I'm going to use blue for water and green for land. One of the main reasons that there is life on Earth is because of water. Earth sits at the exact right distance from the sun. If it was any closer, all the water would evaporate. And if it was any further, all the water would freeze. Our Earth got its color back. So beautiful. This planet feels special. Our home. Let's find our next planet. Ooh, this planet feels dusty and it's not our home. This must be Mars. Let's give Mars its color back. Let's color Mars. Mars is red in color and I'm going to use red and orange color. 
Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It's a rocky planet with clouds and winds similar to the Earth. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system, which can cover the entire planet and last for months. Mars gets its signature red color from the abundance of iron-rich dust that covers its surface. Our Mars is back! Let's find our next planet. Ooh, this one is huge. This must be Jupiter. Jupiter is big and bold. Let's give Jupiter its color back. Let's color Jupiter. Jupiter's gas atmosphere results in bands of color. And I'm going to use red, orange, yellow and gray color. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and is made primarily of hydrogen and helium. It is known as a gas giant and doesn't have a solid surface. It also has a great red spot which is a swirling storm, twice as wide as the Earth. Let's find our next planet. Ooh! This planet has rings. It is Saturn. Let's color our Saturn. Let's color Saturn. Saturn is also a gas giant made up of hydrogen and helium. Saturn's rings are its most famous features and are made up of countless pieces of ice and rock. Gas clouds, storms and extreme winds give Saturn a stripped appearance in colors ranging from yellow to orange to grey. Wow! Look at those rings! Our Saturn got its color back! Let's find our next planet! <laughs> this planet feels cold and far away. It is Uranus. Let's color Uranus. Uranus has blue and green color that's created from an abundance of methane gas in the atmosphere. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It's considered to be an ice giant because most of its mass is made up of swirling icy fluids that include water, methane and ammonia. Our Uranus got its color back. It looks cool and calm. Let's find our last planet. Ooh, this planet is very, very far and it's very windy. It's Neptune. Time to color Neptune. Time to color our last planet, Neptune. Neptune's atmosphere gives it a bright blue color.
Neptune is the eighth planet in the solar system. It is an ice giant just like Uranus. Neptune's atmosphere gives it a bright blue color. Neptune got its color back. Look friends, our planets are back and they are colorful again. Now let's put them back in the space. Yay! Oh, it's a cat. Ah! Hello, little kitty. C for cat. Do you see something coming out? Whoa! Look at our fresh strawberries turning into a milkshake. 